All right, everybody. This is uh, this is my light chiller setup. Figured I'd show it off or show you how to how it works, whichever one you want to consider. It doesn't matter to me. But uh, I'll just go and I'll give it a start. This right here is a 12k BTU air conditioner. It comes up and feeds into this cooler that I built. Inside this is the evap that would normally cool the air. Only now I've got it cooling antifreeze. What's up in there is a 200 per gallon hour pump. It pumps over here into my big res into these two warts. This is half inch OD copper tubing from Lowe's. It's 3571 for a 20 foot roll. I've got two of them. This was straight out of the box. I just spread it out, stuck it in here. The other one that's inside, I had to coil up tighter so it would fit inside of this one and double chill. I've got feeding it. It comes over out of that pump into this 3 8 inch copper tee. It's half inch ID hose right here. Just slid around it and clamped. And then, like I said, it goes into the two chillers, comes out of the two, comes out of the two warts over here on this side, dumps back into the chiller like this. Done deal. Okay. Uh, the way I built these is three quarter inch ply. That's five eighths inch foam right there. I did it double wide. And uh, this right here is 45 mil EPDM pond liner. You can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot. I think Home Depot still sells it. Home quarters, any of those places. Aquarium shops, fish shops, doesn't matter. You can get it online also, but the shipping sucks because it's heavy. Anyways, I'll get down and show you this from afar. That's what it looks like right here. We've got a five gallon res, got a 25 gallon res right here. Then uh, cover this up and take you inside. Okay, I got uh, 62 degrees is my chiller temp, 73 degrees is my res temp. I should say that I used one wart at first and I had like a 20 to 22 degree difference in my between my chiller and my res. So I stuck in the second wart so it more efficiently cooled my water down and it works. Everything works. It is just fucking out of this world awesome. Anyways, as you notice, no more ducting going out my back door. Very cool. Hang on. Okay, here we are at the beginning of my lights. I've got two of these total. It's a 440 CFM high velocity six inch fan. Goes into an ice box, then to the light, and then another ice box, and then another light, and it just keeps on going like that. The way these ice boxes work, this is a $25 heater core from Advance Auto Parts. Okay, I got galvanized metal wrapped around it. I've got that 5 8 inch foam on the sides and on the bottom. I just cut out the thing and I just taped it around it flush. Uh, the six inch ducting right here in order to connect to my lights and connect to my uh, hosing, ductwork, whatever you want to call it. It's four and a half bucks a pop for these things. And uh, what I did was I bought a five foot long six inch duct and I just cut it up. It saved me about 40 bucks because it was only $10 for the duct and I was able to do everything. Anyways, uh, and then the plumbing right here, got three quarter inch this is the inlet this is the outlet doesn't really matter which one you use for which it comes up here and pumps and pumps out of the three quarter inch line in and pumps back up into the one and a quarter inch line it's very important that the uh, output is bigger so that there's no back pressure and it allows the pump to flow more freely those right there are just slip to slip to threaded tees I got a little three quarter inch hose adapter right there nothing not a big deal goes down I got one for each one for each box so anyways it's got fan light box light light box light then I skipped a light because I don't have to have them everywhere and then light box light light box light whatever you want to say I got the other fan right here one fan I don't think is enough it might be but the air just moves so slow out of it I thought that the air needed to be pushed up a little further so I added another one in and there's my last light and then I've got my last ice box on the end of the light. And what that's doing is giving the air a last chill before, and this is the fucking baddest part of it, before it dumps back out into the room. Alright, right now I'm running 78 degrees coming out of my line. It's 80 degrees outside. This right here is just a little wireless thermometer so I can keep an eye on my temps from inside my room. And then I've got another one right here. But anyways, that is it. That is all that's to it. It's very easy. It's not complicated. It just takes time and it takes patience. 
Uh, I didn't even use any glue for my damn fittings. I just put it together and stuck it up there. So I got some drips coming out. Matter of fact, that's what it's done to my leaves from the antifreeze dripping on it. Because I messed up. Anyways, doesn't matter. I will go in real quick to... Uh, this is my chiller res or my chiller for my reservoir for my nutrients. It, uh, if you wanted to chill just one light for a closet grow, this is what you'd do. You would just pump that with this. Anyway, so what it is is the front of my air conditioner has been taken off. I took out the blower fan and then I put this inside of a cooler. I had to cut, I had to cut the notch out to fit everything in. But I got inlet and outlet lines. I got a little thermometer right here. Okay, and then my plug wire, and then of course that's my copper. Uh, 70 gallon per hour pump, pumps over into my nutrient reservoir. It pumps out right here. Okay, very important to note that you want to keep this line opposite of this. And uh, like I said, if you want to do a light chiller, you'd want to put a 250 gallon minimum. 300 gallon probably is what you really want, maybe even a 400 depending on how much height you had to go up. You put it here, run your three quarter inch line out of it, run it into the ice box, and then out of the ice box back in here. Just constantly cycle it, it's not a big deal, it's not that hard, you just do it. Anyways, I'll go ahead and show you how this works for the nutrients, okay? Oh, I should note, these are four inch duct lines. This sucks in the cool air to cool the condenser, all right? And then it evacuates out of the back of the air conditioner. All right, now, Here's my res, it's 96 gallon res. This right here is a 3 8 inch line feeding my wart, coming in, going out. Uh, the wart needs to be stainless steel for your nutrients uh, because the copper will leach into your nutrient water and get into your plants and you don't want that. I've got the controller right here to control the pump. It's a CAT TMP1, it's just a temperature controller. I've got it set at 68. So the thermometer right here sits in the water. Whenever it reaches about 70, it cuts on my pump and pumps the cold water in through the wart and then it cuts off when it gets about 66, 67. That's it. Uh, we will uh, go back to the light boxes. I just want to say that if I would have bought this stuff online, I would have spent nearly $2,700. Okay. That's how much it would have cost me to build this from buying the stuff online and then going to Lowe's to get the duct work and the clamps and the tape and the metal and all that kind of shit. Uh, or the plumbing. But uh, with me buying this stuff, parting it out and then piecing it together myself and then I already had the air conditioner here and I already had the fans, etc. But uh, it cost me $800. I saved nearly two grand by doing this myself. That's it. I'll give you a quick view of what it looks like going all the way down. I hope this uh, finds somebody that likes to tinker and I hope y'all end up doing it because it solves every single heating issue you can possibly have from your lighting. All you got to do is chill the air that chills the light. It's a done deal. Anyways, if you got any questions, just leave a post. We'll get them answered. Thanks.